Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and here we are going to talk about 2018 current affair modules. This are from 1st January to 3rd January. Let me start with this important issues. So issue number one is Arunachal Pradesh has become open defecation free state. This is second state after Sikkim. Remember Sikkim became the first state to be declared open defecation free. Matlab khule mein shauch mein jo jate hai, wo wahan pe ab nahi hota hai. Arunachal Pradesh has 21 districts and the state has attained this feat before the deadline. Remember the deadline is October 2, 2019. Srinandra Modi started this campaign of Swachh Bharat from 2nd October 2014. Or Pat Salka target hai that all these states should become open defecation free. Coming to issue number two, that is telecom ombudsman. I'm sure you know ombudsman. What is the meaning of ombudsman? Ombudsman ka matlab hai ki koi bhi government entity ya koi esi regulated entity may agar koi complain hai. Or wo complain koi karan ke vaja se wo particular department या पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उसको फुलफिल नहीं कर पाता है सॉर्ट आउट नहीं कर पाता है देन द कंज्यूमर कैन डायरेक्टली गो टू ओम्बर्डमैन एंड फाइल देयर कंप्लेंट ओके सो देयर इज वन बैंक ओम्बर्डमैन सो देयर इज अ बैंकिंग ओम्बर्डमैन लॉ अवेलेबल ओके हिंदी में इसको लोकायुक्त अगर स्टेट में अगर अपॉइंट किया है और लेकिन से सेंटर पे है तो लोकपाल बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं उसको लोकपाल ओके दैट इज हाउ द ओम्बर्डमैन इज सो हियर द इज अ पार्लियामेंट्री पैनल हैज एक्सप्रेस्ड देयर कंसर्न ओवर डिले इन सेटिंग अप ऑफ एन ओम्बर्डमैन टू डील विद द इश्यूज रिलेटेड टू टेलीकॉम सो डिस्पाइट देयर इज अ रेगुलेटर कॉल्ड ट्राई टेलीकॉम रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया उन्होंने दो बार बोल दिया था कि आप करिए उसको पर फिर भी अभी हो नहीं पा रहा है दैट इज अ पार्लियामेंट्री पैनल दे सेड दे हैव सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ कंसर्न एज पर द करंट ट्रेंड ऑन एन एवरेज 10 मिलियन कंप्लेंट्स आर लॉस्ड विद टेलीकॉम सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ईच क्वार्टर एंड करंटली कंप्लेंट्स आर कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय हाई वॉल्यूम लो वैल्यू एंड फ्रॉम द यूजर्स इन द डाइवर्स जियोग्राफिक लोकेशंस सो व्हाट आर द इंपोर्टेंट थिंग रिमेंबर हियर व्हाट दे आर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप थ्री स्टेज grievance redressal mechanism number one resolution by telecom service provider if that is not acceptable to the consumer then there's a resolution by consumer grievance redressal mechanism okay and if that is not done then final thing can go to we can say telecom ombudsman okay so this is how telecom ombudsman are coming up coming to issue number three that is national register of citizens yaad rakhe हमने इसके ऊपर अलग से एक वीडियो बना के रखा है दैट एक जगह है जहां पे हम बात कर रहे हैं आसाम आसाम में ये नेशनल रजिस्टर ऑफ सिटीजंस के बारे में बात है सो व्हाट इज दिस न्यूज़ द मच अवेटेड फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट रिमेंबर दिस इज अ ड्राफ्ट ऑफ अ ड्राफ्ट ड्राफ्ट ऑफ नेशनल रजिस्टर वाज पब्लिश्ड विद द नेम्स ऑफ 1.9 करोड़ पीपल आउट ऑफ व्हिच 3.29 करोड़ पीपल who applied okay so they applied that they are citizen of this country and their name should be there in the national register of citizens okay okay out of which the draft of draft contain only 1.9 crore people that is on 31st december yet date aya tha okay so this nrc is basically compiled following a supreme court guideline to identify illegal immigrants in assam remember by Assam, which was influxed from Bangladesh since early 20th century, and it is the only state having this, you can say, NRC first prepared in 1951. Okay, Supreme Court, which is monitoring the entire process, has ordered the first draft of NRC to be published by 31st December. And after completing the scrutiny of over 2 crore claims, along with 
that of around 38 lakh people whose documents were suspect okay so what is nrc the nrc is basically it contains the names of indian citizens nrc was prepared in 1951 after the census of 1951 and it was prepared by recording particulars of all persons enumerated during the census so this is very important okay aage badhte hain issue number 4 now this is related to oci and pio card jo aapke samne dikh raha hai that is oci overseas citizen of india card and this is person of indian origin remember bharat mein citizenship panch tarikon se milti hai pehli hai by birth okay dusri hai by descent that means by birth ka matlab hai ki if someone is born in india and at the time of birth one of the parents should be indian origin then by birth descent someone is born outside india but at the time of birth one of the parents is of indian origin matlab indian citizen then that person can get the citizenship by descent third tarika hai called you can say by registration that is you fulfill certain condition and you apply to government of india saying that i want to become citizen of this country that is called registration number 4 is by naturalization that means someone is uh, you can say married to some indian and that person wants to come and settle in india and wants to become citizen so that is called by naturalization and number 5 that is called by acquiring certain territories so india ko agar territories acquire karta hai to uske dwara citizenship indian government unko degi this are the five ways in which citizenship will be provided we have also started a concept of pio and oci oci ka matlab hota hai overseas citizen of india pio is a person of indian origin so government has stopped the scheme of free conversion of pio cards to oci okay so pehle kya ho raha tha oci pio alag alag tha fir kareeban pichle 2 3 saalon ke andar pio card easily oci mein convert hota tha so the scheme of converting person of indian origin card to oci card free of cost comes to an end a decision has been taken not to give any more extension beyond 31st december however change of pio cards to oci card would continue on the payment of fees so free of cost band hua hai hai na par pio oci mein payment deke continue to kar hi sakte hai okay that is how it is available so who are nri who are pio who are oci remember nri okay nri is primarily connected with taxation purpose so if you are indian but you have not stayed for more than 180 days in india then you will become nri so that means in a given financial year aapne ek financial year mein 180 din se kam din agar aap india mein guzare hain to you become nri okay acha person of indian origin matlab this people that is pio unke koi na koi matlab ancestor na india ke sath connected hai jaise abhi पोर्तुगल के जो प्राइम मिनिस्टर है उनके दादा गोवा में रहते थे ओके सो दैट मींस ही इज कंसीडर टू बी पर्सन ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन देन देयर इज ओवरसीज सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया है ना दे आर द पीपल फ्रॉम इंडिया हु आर बेसिकली लिविंग अब्रॉड बट दे वांट टू गेट कनेक्टेड विद इंडिया रिमेंबर एनआरआई इज एसेंशियली अ टर्म यूज्ड फॉर इंडियंस दैट लिव इन अनदर कंट्री व्हाइल पीआईओ एंड ओसीआई आर द पीपल हु वांट टू स्टे कनेक्टेड एंड इन्वॉल्व विद इंडिया that is what basically the idea they are not indians in terms of citizens okay while well, nri are indian citizens okay aage badhte what are the benefits of this pio card pio card holder doesn't need to have a visa to visit india holder also does not require a student or employment visa to acquire employment or getting academic opportunity in our country the holder is exempted from registering at foreign regional registration office ठीक है ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्टे अदरवाइज उनको रेगुलरली ईयर ऑफिस पे जाके अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन कराना जरूरी है द होल्डर ऑल्सो एंजॉयज इक्वालिटी विथ एन आर आई इन कंसर्न टू इकोनॉमिक फाइनेंशियल एंड एजुकेशनल मैटर्स सो दिस इज हाउ द एडवांटेज पीपल जनरली गेट फ्यू मोर थिंग्स दिस में इंक्लूड मैटर्स रिलेटेड टू प्रॉपर्टी ट्रांसफर और एक्विजिशन होल्डिंग डिस्पोजल ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एडमिशन ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन इन सडन एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन ये सब उनको बेनिफिट मिलता है सेपरेट इमिग्रेशन काउंटर्स आर प्रोवाइडेड 
to PIOs as well as you can say OCI now. It does not provide voting right. Obviously, they are, they are not the citizen of this country. Ye yaad rakhega. Citizen nahi hai. Isle voting right nahi hai. PIO, OCI, they are not citizens. Prior permission is needed to undertake mountaineering expeditions or any such research work in the protected areas. Thigya. The benefits of OCI cards are obviously substantial. OCI is essentially a lifetime visa status offered by India to an Indian person who has given up their citizenship. OCI cards give lifetime multiple entry visa. If one remains OCI for 5 years, he or she can attain Indian citizenship and then can live in India for a period of 1 year including short break. An OCI card holder cannot vote or hold a government job or purchase agriculture or a farmland. Person can also not run for public office or travel to restricted area without any kind of permission. So, yaad rakhega OCI, PIO and Indian citizenship. Okay? Chali, aage hai. Number 5. Finance Ministry has warned that bhaiya ye cryptocurrencies jo hai na, wo Ponzi scheme hai. Okay? So, ye Bitcoin aur alag alag tarike ki cryptocurrencies jo aaj kal market mein aari hai, so, Finance Minister ne alarm bell bajaya hai. Aur bula hai, this phenomenal increase in the price of virtual currency, including Bitcoin, in India and globally, is like a Ponzi scheme. Kyu hai sa bola? Because they say, this virtual currencies do not have any intrinsic value and they are not backed by any kind of assets. For example, government currencies are backed by government of India. That is a legal tender. Pehle, wo gold ke dwara back kiya jata tha. Ab, it is only government is backing it. Certain kind of assets like bonds or mutual funds or shares, they are backed by certain assets. They are backed by company. Unke assets hai, uske dwara wo backup hai. Okay? So, that means they are reasonably secured. Ab, virtual currency mein aisa kuch hai nahi. Is liye finance minister ne bola ki bhaiya, there is a Problem and it is like a Ponzi scheme. Bulia Gamat, Ham Logone, a bohot acha video banaka raka hua hai Bitcoin or blockchain ke barame. Uska video dekne ka Bulia Gamat. This is one of the very wonderful video available to understand everything related to Bitcoin as well as blockchain. The price of Bitcoin and other VCs is entirely a matter of speculation and resulting in spurt and volatility in their prices. So, this is what they said. So, you may ask a question, Sir, what is this Ponzi scheme? By Ponzi scheme, Ek bhai saab te, jinka naam tha Charles Ponzi, Unho ne chalu kari thi. Unka maksab tha, Ki logo se, Paise nikale jaye. Kaise nikale jaye? They say, Matlab, he goes to various cities, Matlab, in a particular city, He goes and gives a seminar, And telling them, Ki look, I have a good opportunity, Please invest in my idea, And I will ensure, That I'll give you money, Double, in possibly let's say a year's time or two years time okay so he gives a big seminar people agree okay not everyone some of them and they agree with some money obviously people will not accept ki bhaiya pura risk nahi lete hai chota paisa lagate hai so let us assume ki kuch logo ne itna paisa lagaya we don't know that much let us say small money unho ne lagaya ab unho ne kya kya wo unki scheme sab jaga batate rehte hai kuch logo ne aur paisa diye let us say second line mein Logo ne utne hi paise diye jitne first line mein diye. Now what does Pon Mr. Charles Ponzi used to do? Inke paise lekar inko de deta tha double paisa. Aur wo bhi time se pehle. So people get convinced. Kya riye paisa double ho ke aagya? So that means in the third line people may try to give more money. And he returns that to the second line people. And thereby it is more money. Hai na? More money people will invest. And wo return karta tha. अब उसको पता था चार्ल्स पुंजी को कि कोई एक शहर में एक पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट से ज्यादा लोग निकाल नहीं पाते हैं और अगर ऐसा दो तीन बार हो गया है ना ऐसा अगर दो तीन बार हो गया तो लोग ऐसा मानते हैं कि भैया पूरा पैसा लगा दो कुछ लोग तो घर बाहर बेच के पूरा लगा देते थे है ना और उनको समझ आ गया कि भैया ये एक लाइन है इससे ज्यादा पैसा वो सिटी से निकलेगा नहीं तो पैसा लेके भाग जाते थे ठीक है दिस इज हाउ Charles Ponzi used to work. Ye raha uska chain wala part. Okay? Jo Ponzi pyramid banta hai, wo ye hai. Okay? Ponzi scheme can be any scheme in which 
the return is promised to the older investor and, and they are basically paid from the money collected from the new investor and then they are not the actual profit from the investment. Ponzi schemes were named after Mr. Charles Ponzi, and a, a clerk in a Boston almost a century ago and, a, and he duped thousands of investors into speculating on the phenomenal returns from the humble postage stamp. Okay, so that is how this scenario started. Moving towards the next issue, new night frog species have been identified. Scientists have discovered a new frog species which is from Korikod Malabar Wildlife Sanctuary. The frog species are named as Meva Singh's night frog. They are belonging to endemic genus of Western Ghat. The frog has been named after wildlife scientist Meva Singh in honor of his contribution to this behavioral ecology and primate studies. Okay, coming to issue number seven online portal for women which is called Nari in a path breaking initiative to empower women the ministry of women and child development has launched online portal called Nari okay so this is an online portal which will provide information to women on issues affecting their lives the portal aims to provide women citizens with easy access to information on government initiative and certain other initiative for and schemes for the women the portal contains information about schemes being run by both central and state government and it will also link various ministries departments and autonomous bodies moving towards brahmaputra board ninth meeting of high powered review board of brahmaputra board was recently held at borgos kaziranga in assam the meeting was chaired by Sri Nitin Gadkari, Union Minister of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. High Powered Review Board was approved for restructuring of Brahmaputra Board and advised that the fund should be largely spent for the works and limited fund should be spent for establishment cost including salary and wages. So, yeah, exactly hack yeah. So, HPRB also ratified the project for protection of Majuli Island. Remember, Majuli Island is the largest floating island in India, possibly of the world. It is largest floating island. And it has to be protected from flood and erosion at an amount of 237 crore. Mathematical model study was prepared by IIT Guwahati called Brahma ID. Also was launched during this particular time and this project was sponsored by Brahmaputra board at some around 3 crore. Brahmaputra board is an autonomous statutory body which is responsible for preparation and implementation of plan related to flood management, erosion control, drainage management system and so and so forth. Okay. So, yaad rakhe ga ye Brahmaputra board. Coming to issue number 9, e-samvad. E-samvad portal has been, you can say, launched by Ministry of Women and Child Development. Okay. It is an online portal for NGO and civil societies to interact with Ministry of Women and Child Development through Isamvad NGOs and civil societies can provide their feedback, suggestion and put up various grievances related to this. Okay. Moving further issue number 10, India and Pakistan has exchanged list of their nuclear installation. Remember, by ye ek agreement tha, January 1, 1992 mein, that India or Pakistan will regularly exchange information about their nuclear you can say, installation. This is 30 year old bilateral pact. The exchange is done each year on 1st January under the agreement on the prohibition of attack against nuclear installation and facilities also referred to as non-nuclear aggression agreement. Matlab, agar India ko pata hai, Pakistan mein kahan kahan pe nuclear installation karke rakhi hai. Similarly, Pakistan ko pata hai ki India mein kahan kahan pe installation karke rakha hai. So, agar koi karan se war hua, India will not attack on those areas and Pakistan will not attack on those areas. Okay. Furthermore, the agreement which was signed on 31st December 1988 and it was entered into force from January 
1991. It provides that two countries inform each other of nuclear installation. The need for the agreement has been felt against the backdrop of Israel's 1981 bombing of Iraq's Ozirak reactor near Baghdad. So, in Baghdad, mein Israel ne bombing kari thi. So, ye samaj mein aaya ki bhaiya, agar hamare yahan pe bhi aisa ho gaya, then we will have a problem. So, dono country ne ye achha kam kiya hai. Aage badhte issue number 11. China develops underwater surveillance network in Indian Ocean. And South China Sea. ये दोनों जगह पे ये underwater surveillance network develop किया है. This is one of the very important step from China. They think it is very important for their own safety. Okay. So it is an underwater surveillance system that is based on network of platform like कोई मतलब पानी में है ना कोई ऐसे तैर रहा होगा, surface vessel होगा या satellite होगा, underwater glider होगा. So they gather data. From South China Sea, Western Pacific Ocean, and Indian Ocean. So, this is a project, a part of unprecedented military expansion. So, China ka ye military expansion ka ek bhag hai. Okay. And they would like to challenge United States in future in the world ocean. And that is the reason possibly China is working on such kind of thing. Coming to issue number 12, Parker Solar Probe. Parker Solar Probe is scheduled to be launched in 2018 and that is by NASA. What is the objective? To explore sun's, sun's outer atmosphere. NASA's historic Parker Solar Probe mission will revolutionize our understanding of the sun where changing condition can propagate out into the solar system and affecting our earth and the other world. Remember. This solar probe will travel through sun's atmosphere and it will go to closer to the surface than any spacecraft has reached there. Facing brutal heat and radiation condition and ultimately giving so much information to humanities. The disturbance in the solar wind, solar wind mein jo bhi disturbance hota hai that affects earth's magnetic field as well as it pumps lot of energy into earth and such kind of changes near earth space creates lot of trouble and that is called space weather. Space weather can change the orbits of satellites, shorten their lifetime and interfere with the onboard electronics. So more we learn about the what causes space weather and how to predict it the more we are protecting our satellites. So that is very important Parker solar Probe. Moving further. Nagaland has been declared as disturbed area for six more months. Remember, northeastern side pe, Bhasare states. In fact, seven states have been declared as disturbed area or pe Apspa laga ke rakha hai. What is Apspa? Armed Forces Special Power Act. Okay. So, entire Nagaland has been declared as a disturbed area. Decision is to continue. Declaration as this hai, uh, has been taken as killings, loot, extortion have been going on in the various parts of Nagaland which necessitate this action. Okay. Apspa kafi samay se waha pe chal raha hai. So what is Apspa? It was enacted in 1958. It gives power in the hands of army and the state and the central police force to shoot, to kill someone, search houses, destroy any property that is likely to be used by insurgent in that area and to kisi ko bhi wo matlab pakad ke goli maar sakte hai kisi ke ghar mein bhi ghus sakte hai so the act provides army personnel with safeguard against malicious vindictive and frivolous prosecution matlab agar army ne koi malicious galat intention ke sath vindictive way mein aggressive way mein aur frivolous aise hi matlab कोई अच्छा कारण नहीं था फिर भी उन्होंने कोई गलत काम कर दिया प्रोसिक्यूट कर दिया फिर भी वो आर्मी को प्रोटेक्शन उसमें मिलेगा सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस कैन अरेस्ट अ पर्सन विदाउट एनी वारंट हु कमिटेड और इवन इज अबाउट टू कमिट अ कॉग्निजेबल ऑफेंस इवन ऑन अ रीजनेबल सस्पेशन अगर थोड़ा सा भी डाउट है तो भी उसको वो पकड़ के जेल में डाल देंगे सेक्शन 3 ऑफ आपस्पा एंपावर्स 
the governor of the state or union territory to issue an official notification in gazette of india following which center has the authority to send in armed forces and for the civilian support once declared disturbed the region has to maintain a status quo and a minimum for 3 months and according to disturbed area act okay so ye agle 6 mahine ke liye nagaland mein ye chalu ho chuka hai coming to issue number 14 india's second largest rooftop solar plant so gale started this in up bhaiya pehla kahan pe aaya tha pehla was in amritsar punjab theek hai aur ye jo sabse bada tha theek hai that is the first largest is a tata power solar ne banaya tha ye second kisne banaya hai gale coming to issue number 15 in a first saudi arabia that is uae introduced vat okay saudi arabia and united arab emirate hai na they have introduced value added tax for the first time in the gulf theek hai so this is they said we are a tax free hai na and we are giving lot of welfare system to ye pehli baar wahan pe taxation laga hai it is a 5% tax on most goods and services to boost their revenue the vat will be applied on food clothing electronic gasoline petrol water electricity bill as well as on the hotel reservation so yaad rakhega ye pehli baar saudi arabia aur uae mein vat lagaya gaya hai hamari yahan pe kya lagta hai bhaiya pehle vat hi tha ab usko kya bolte hain gst coming to issue number 16 peri helion earth will be very closest to sun on january 3 earth will be closest to the sun and this phenomena is called perihelion okay ab ye observe nahi kiya jayega at 11 5 am on january 3 2018 earth will be at the closest point to the sun in its annual elliptical orbit aapko pata hoga earth jab sun ke aaju baaju ghumta hai so that is not a fully circular part it is elliptical to matlab kuch part hai jo thoda dur hai और कुछ पार्ट है नजदीक है तो जो नजदीक है उसको बोलते हैं पेरियलियन और जो दूर है उसको एफेलियन बोलते हैं ओके सो पेरियलियन इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट फॉर रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशनल पर्पस सो वाइल द अर्थ इज क्लोजेस्ट टू सन दिस टाइम जनवरी इट इज विंटर इन इंडिया एंड कंट्रीज इन नॉर्दर्न एमोस्फियर एज वेल एज इट इज समर इन दर्दर्न एमोस्फियर तो दिस इज हाउ दियलियन वुड बी एंड एपीएलियन वुड जनरली हैपन ऑन जुलाई अगेन से सिक्स के उसके आजू बाजू जनरली होता है वेर दी अर्थ विल बी एट दी फॉर दिस पॉइंट फ्रॉम दी सन ओके मूविंग टू वर्ड इश्यू नंबर सेवनटीन याद रखिएगा ठीक है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रेसिडेंट अपॉइंट विनय शास्त्रा बुद्धे एज आईसीसीआर प्रेसिडेंट आईसीसीआर क्या है भैया इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ कल्चरल रिलेशनशिप सो आईसीसीआर इज एन ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है अगर गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंट करती है किसी एमपी को ऐसे गवर्नमेंट पोजीशन के लिए तो उस समय पे ऑफिस ऑफ प्रॉफिट का आरोप नहीं लग सकता है ठीक है सो इनके ऊपर ऑफिस ऑफ प्रॉफिट का आरोप नहीं लगेगा भाई आईसीसीआर किसने फाउंड किया था 1950 में फर्स्ट एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया मौलाना अबुल कलाम आजाद उन्होंने किया था कमिंग डिशन नंबर एटीन ट्राई अभी हमने देखा था थोड़ी देर पहले टेलीकॉम regulatory authority of india which is an regulatory authority for telecom sector so it issues interconnect rule kya hai bhaiya this is effective from 1st february it lays down the ground rules for telecom companies to enter into initial interconnect pact provision points of interconnection needed to complete calls and undertake augmentation of such points and associated charges remember ye jo interconnection hai they are lifeline for telecom service so there is one firm and ek dusri telecom firm hai unko ek dusre ke sath connect karne ke liye ye hona bahut zaruri hai so this is called interconnect rule so telcos receiving interconnection request has to offer a draft interconnect pack within 5 days to the requester who in turn can submit suggestion or objections in the next 5 days currently there is no explicit timeline for developing this kind of agreement telcos flouting this tri interconnection 
रेगुलेशन विल हैव टू पे अमाउंट व्हिच इज रफली 1 लाख पर डे है ना पर लाइसेंस सर्विस एरिया सो दैट वे इट इज मेकिंग वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट एंड गुड फॉर द पीपल मूविंग टुवर्ड्स नेशनल नॉलेज नेटवर्क वाज इन द न्यूज़ इंडिया हैज किक्ड ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ अपॉइंटिंग अ टेलीकॉम कंपनी दैट विल कनेक्ट एंड एक्सटेंड द स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट नेशनल नॉलेज नेटवर्क टू रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशन नेटवर्क इन सिक्स साउथ एशियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ रीजनल कॉपरेशन मेंबर स्टेट सार्क नेशन अफगानिस्तान बांग्लादेश भूटान मालदीव नेपाल और श्रीलंका ये छह देशों में नेशनल नॉलेज नेटवर्क आगे बढ़ाने के लिए उन्होंने बोला है पाकिस्तान इज ओनली सार्क नेशन दैट हैज बीन लेफ्ट आउट ऑफ दिस नेशनल नॉलेज नेटवर्क इंडिया हैज फॉर लॉन्ग सस्पेंडेड ऑफिशियल टॉक्स विद पाकिस्तान due to continuing terrorist attack launched by groups of people who are living across the border national knowledge network is a multi gigabit pan india network which facilitates the development of india's communication infrastructure stimulates research and create next, gener next generation applications and services so this is what nkn is developed coming to issue number 20 world's first speed breeding टेक्निक टू बूस्ट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ व्हीट इज डेवलप ऑस्ट्रेलियन साइंटिस्ट हैव डेवलप वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट स्पीड ब्रीडिंग टेक्निक दैट कैन बूस्ट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस व्हीट क्रॉप बाय थ्री टाइम्स दैट्स अ ह्यूज हु डेवलप दिस डीएस फेराडे साइंटिस्ट हैव यूज्ड द टेक्निक टू डेवलप न्यू डीएस फेराडे व्हीट डीएस फेराडे से नमाया डीएस फेराडे व्हीट वैरायटी due to release to the industry this year ds varade is a high protein milling wheat with tolerance to pre harvest sprouting theek hai by using this speed breeding technique in specially modified glass houses scientists could grow six generations of wheat chickpea barley plants and four generation of canola plants in a single year at opposed to two to three generations in a regular glass house or a single generation in a field फील्ड में एक ही बार होता था स्पेशली ग्लास हाउस बनाया वहां पे ऐसे दो या तीन जनरेशन होती थी इसकी वजह से दे विल बी इन पोजिशन टू ग्रो सिक्स जनरेशन सो ऑस्ट्रेलिया हैज डेवलप दिस याद रखेगा नाम डी एस पेराडे मूविंग टूवर्ड्स इश्यू नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एस्ट्रोनॉट्स आइडेंटिफाई अनोन माइक्रोब्स इन स्पेस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एस्ट्रोनॉट्स हु आर ऑन अबॉर्ड एट आई एस एस इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन have for the first time identified microbes in space without having a it uh, samples back to earth for the test okay the ability to identify microbes in space pehle kya hota tha earth pe bhejna padta tha earth pe se testing hoti thi aur bataya jata tha ki microbe hai ki nahi ab wo microbe wahi pe test ho rahe now this ability to diagnose and treat the astronaut ailments in the real time as well as assisting in identification of dna based life on the other planet so this will be very useful identifying microbes involves isolating dna of the sample and then amplifying it thereby uske multiple copy banayi jayegi and usko sequencing karke uske bare mein thodi si jankari li jayegi coming to issue number 22 china to become world's first country to launch a lunar probe on the far side of moon china announced its plans to launch lunar probe moon ka probing karna in 2018 to achieve the world's first soft landing on the far side of moon to showcase its ambitious space program the mission is called chengs 4 project okay yaad rakhega chengs 4 is fourth mission in the country's lunar mission series which is being named after chinese moon goddess which is called chengs okay The Long March 4C rocket will start its course to 60,000 km behind the Moon, carrying 425 kg of satellite. The relay satellite will act as an initial communication link between the Earth and the lunar key far side. Once China's space agency succeeds in establishing this link, China will trigger the second part of the mission and sending a lander and rover to an unexplored region in the Moon. so this is very important coming to issue number 23 wapas china ka china starts collecting environmental tax 
China started collecting environmental tax to better protect the environment and cut pollutant charge as the country's environment protection tax laws took effect from 1st January 1, 2018. This is China's first tax clearly designed for the environmental protection, popularly known as green tax. Okay, so this environmental protection tax law targets enterprises, public institutions that discharge listed pollutants directly into the environment and companies will pay taxes for producing noise, air and water pollutants as well as solid waste. Remember individuals need not pay this tax as it is applicable only to the enterprises, public institutions and other business operators. Coming to issue number 24, GI recognition. I am sure you know GI. GI is a geographical indication registry. So Kerala ka Nilambur tick, earlier known as Malabar tick, they are the wood. Ana? Ek tarike ke wood hai, lakde hai, unko GI tag mila hai. The GI tag denotes quality and origin of products and helps to keep unscrupulous commercial operators at the bay. Unko dur rakhne ki koshish hoti hai. Nilambur tick, it's a golden brown tick, is known for its long dimensions. Ana? It's a desired wood figure. Uski wood ki figure bhi desired hai. Have a very wide reputation in the world of trade. Its durability is attributed to the synergistic effect of total extensive components and resistance to fungal decay. So this is very important. It's hydrophobic, antioxidant properties and oily nature are due to, you can say, chaotic compound. Okay. Coming to the last issue for today's discussion called species which we lost in 2017. Remember, this is very important. Okay, take it. Big ek organization hai, jiska naam hai IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature. Wo every year they give a list called Red List, where they mark, you can say, certain kind of species as extinct, endangered, vulnerable, and so on and so forth. So they identified certain species like Christmas Island Pipistrel, which is, you can say, small bat found exclusively at Christmas Island, Australia. Okay. Last year, they were critically endangered. This year, they are extinct. Few other extinct are Christmas Island, Whiptail Skink. It is a lizard. Then we have a Christmas Island, Chained Gecko. Okay. So this is a gecko which has been extinct. And Gunther's Dwarf Burrowing Skink. Okay. So this is also a kind of lizard okay, which got extincted. Though no record of the skink has been made for more than 125 years, this native South Africa was officially confirmed to be extinct only this year. Pehle, pehle 125 years thi. Usko extinct bol diya gaya tha. While this gecko is listed as extinct in the wild, Matlab, wo wild mein extinct hai, which means it is now found only in the captive breeding program. Matlab, hum pe temporary ya koi jagah pe usko develop kar rahe to wahan pe ye paaye jayenge aur wild mein wo paaye nahi jayenge so i hope this is useful to you we thank you very much for watching this and do not forget to subscribe our channel and please put your comments about how this current affair modules are helping you thank you very much and all the best